our project was on the uh, Valley Friends Quaker Church in uh, Dayton, Virginia. And how we came across this topic was um, for another project for uh, this class, uh, Intro to American Religious History, uh, we had to go to a different religious community other than our own. Um, so I, I decided to write a paper on the Quaker community in Dayton. And then when we got together for this project, we thought that would be a good community to, community to highlight. Okay, also, um, after we chose that it would be a good topic for us to do, the three of us went to one of their services, and afterwards they were so friendly and welcoming, and they gave us an entire contact sheet of the entire like congregation, put stars next to the people we should talk to. So then we started emailing them, and we chose to highlight Sam and Doris. And Beth. And Beth. Yeah. It was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, when we visited the church, uh, we noticed that they had stained glass windows, and they had a bunch of brochures, and they really emphasized how, like, they explaining why they had um, stained glass windows within their church, because um, the Quaker religion focuses on simplicity, and um, uh, stained glass windows contrast that. And the reason why they decided to, like, to stay in that building is because it's part of the history of their community and they wanted to retain that. And so then we focused on that topic because we wanted to see how that affected um, their community like as Quakers and how they dealt with that. When we did our interviews, we had, first we had Sam and Bev and they came and we did their interview together. and. We really wanted to structure our um, questions around like the simplicity and the stained glass windows, but we got so much information, it was hard to like pick what we wanted. And so um, we did theirs, and we wanted to see like if it was a distraction and things like that, and like what the real issues were with the stained glass windows, because we knew what we our prior knowledge was really just like with the simplicity, and that was about it. And so we wanted to see what else went into with that decision. And then with Doris, we got just more background information and her side of the story too, because one Quaker is kind of uh, iffy to speak for the entire group. So that's what we did there. There are other um, things that we learned about uh, for the Quaker community, but we weren't able to put in the video, such as they had like a peace podium. Pole? Yeah, pole. Totem pole. <laughs> pole. <laughs> And what was it? Well, I forgot the phrase. Like something with peace. It was a phrase, and then it had like Chinese and Arabic and a whole bunch of and, and um, yeah. languages. And like apparently they have those poles like at other churches and other like throughout. Like, they just have them like throughout the world, world and like different. It just like represents yeah. peace, which I thought was really cool. And um, they also had like a their, their book of a marriage contracts kind of almost. Um, I don't remember the word. The, Maybe they were certificates. And so, like, all the people who attended would, like, sign, and then they would, even kids. like, make copies and leave in the big binder, and also, uh, like, blow a copy and put in their homes. Do you remember I think they said that? Yeah, so that was one of the biggest problems uh, we had uh, with this project, is that they were so eager to give us all this information about their community, that, and we were only specifically focusing on the stained glass windows, that... There was a lot of interesting information that we could not include in this project. So I think that was kind of like a disappointment that we couldn't highlight some of the really cool things that we learned. Some of it helped with the class though, I think, like with the equality that we talked about, like in that one discussion and how he said that, you know, the like one guy just felt compelled to go sit with his family mm -hmm. one day and then from then on, mm -hmm. like, family stuck together. Yep, the class. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, we also had problems with editing. Like, yeah. all of us, like, I mean, <laughs> Kelly and I were the main editors, but we all, like, you know, put in editing, and um, the whole technology aspect of it was hard to begin with, because we don't have Macs, and we were trying to learn how to use um, iMovie, and then it got to the point where, like, the challenge was to make it shorter, because we had so much information, and so much. Yeah, stuff. I think, like, the main struggle with editing is just choosing the clips that you, like, want to highlight, and then making it all into like one story that like flows good. I think that was like the main challenge that we faced and just like simple things like figuring out how to get the audio on the same level and transitions yeah. and getting the different angles and everything since it's different lighting and putting it all together was 
tough, but <laughs> definitely. I think we had a good group and everyone like pulled their own weight and we just, you know, especially with like the editing process because mm -hmm. really none of us had, had have had any experience with that and we all kind of like worked together and did our own part on that and I think it's going to be a really great project. I think it really helped that we all had like the same vision for what we wanted. Mm -hmm. Like none of us, we didn't have any conflicts with it and it was just we all, if somebody was like, it'd be cool to zoom in here, we're all like, yeah, let's zoom in there. <laughs> I think um, I think it's kind of cool because like in the beginning like none of us knew about like Quakers right. Mm -hmm. I had no idea like what they were like like the community and I feel like we learned so much through this. Um, so I think that's about it for our commentary. Yeah. So uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video <laughs> and thanks.